So wow. check this out. Michael Irvin recently on national television put his son on blast. So Michael Irvin is a guest contributor on the new iteration of Undisputed on FS1 every day, talking sports with Skip Bayless. And they were on a particular topic. And uh, Michael Irvin went on a bit of a tangent trying to use his son and his son's rap career as an analogy to try to explain his overall point. So this was kind of interesting, you know, just based purely on the comments that Michael Irvin uh, made. So uh, to provide some context, here is this article from Hot New Hip Hop. It says Michael Irvin trolls son for rap career. Uh, you grew up in a gated community. Michael Irvin called out his son during an appearance on Skip Bayless's F1, S, FS1 show, Undisputed, teasing him for pursuing a career in hip-hop. The NFL legend joked that his son grew up in a gated community and doesn't know where his lyrics are coming from. Irvin's son raps under the name Tut Tarantino. Uh, quote, I got a son. He raps. His name is Tut Tarantino, Irvin said. If you ever listen to some of his raps, I'm like, oh, my God. Where did this come from, son? You grew up in a gated community your whole life, but he's rapping my life because we romanticize and fantasize about that old thug life, ghetto life, and all of that stuff. We used to work to get away from it. Now we've gotten to a place somehow where we're running back towards it in the music and everything. So uh, this is going to be uh, um, a third-party recording of that uh of that bit of a, a soliloquy from Michael Irvin on Undisputed. So uh, let me see here. We'll go ahead and play this. Listen to what Mr. Irvin had to say. You gotta distance yourself a little bit. You can't be with people all the time and running around. I got a son, he, he, he raps. His, his rap name is Tut Tarantino. If you ever listen to some of his raps, I'm why he is closing this nigga, bro? Where does this come from, son? You grew up in a gated community your whole life, but he's rapping in my life because we were meant to. Yeah, I'm a pill, I'm keeping my cool. I don't do tears, pay me a fool. Cause I'm a meal, I'll never get full. When I touch me a meal, I'm still gonna be hungry. Still in the streets, still making that money. All right, so there you go. Whoa. And so the topic of discussion at the time during that episode of Undisputed was John Morant talking about, you know, coming back and I don't know. He was basically using that as a correlation to kind of give his thoughts on John Morant and some of the past decisions that Morant has made. But as you can see there towards the tail end, that was Michael Irvin's son. And of course, he looks like the stereotypical caricature of modern rap. Uh, so what do you make of Michael Irvin's comments there? Uh, do you think he was out of bounds for calling his son out for trying to, uh, put out a particular image given that he wants to be a hip hop star or do you think he was right on the money? Uh, you know, I don't like to talk about people's parenting skills, so <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say whether he was right or wrong on that. Me personally, me personally is, I think. See, I'm not thinking for the boy. The boy, of course, he doesn't want that. So if I'm, I'm, if I'm empathizing with him, of course, I don't like that. But I feel like the message needs to be heard, though, that these guys that grew up living like this have to stop portraying a certain image. But I'm telling you right now, and what I talk about on here all the time, if, if these songs... And these music videos didn't control minds. <laughs> then this gated community young man would be living like a gated community young man. But he was exposed to a lifestyle that glorifies drug money, drug use, guns, attempted murder, actual murder, all of this stuff. And so... He also grew up in Miami. So, you know, there's that. And you you know how you know how things can be around here if you hang around certain people. Yeah. So the way that because I had to look into this stuff and look up at some of his videos, uh, bro got a he got a good voice and a and a and a good style. He's just saying the wrong stuff. 
Yeah, he's saying the wrong stuff. You know, he doing op talk. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, all this other stuff, and you know, talking like you got a death wish rap. I, I really don't understand that stuff, man. The amount of slander that they use and the way that they talk, it's like, what do you think if you're living by this, bro? Come on. You know, what what would you die by? So yeah, him unnecessarily holding AK 47, he's doing the whole bit. So uh so as a father that probably tried to reach through to him, you know, uh, you know, it, 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 clear, apparently it's been falling on deaf ears. So this is just him being frustrated. And you know, Mike, he'd be on the powder anyway. <laughs> so he's gonna he gonna oh. say what allegedly. And so he's just going to say what he goes to say what he feels. And so how he felt that morning, he was like, nah, man, this is the same thing I'm going through with my son. So I felt as though he was just trying to do the right thing, man. But, you know, of course, Junior ain't going to like it. But, you know, that's just the way of the world. But, you know, uh, my first, you know, impression of this is, again, you know, hook, line, and sinker. Another example, you know, this ain't Exhibit A or Exhibit B. We up in, like, you know, ZL. We're already, like, doubling up and stuff. So this is just yet another example of music taking over the minds of the youth and turning them out into these fake micro thugs. It's ridiculous, man. But how do you yeah. feel about this, man? Do you agree with uh, Sir Irving, man, the you? Or, uh, you know, do you feel like he was out of pocket for this? Uh, I mean, the general sentiment to me makes sense. Like, and I think it speaks to your point. As a matter of fact, the first time that I heard this, Indeed, what I thought about was this is clearly evidence of mind control because like I'll juxtapose his son. I'll juxtapose Tut Tarantino to me. I grew up in Miami, too. I didn't even grow up as well as he I didn't even grow up as good. as He had it better than me. Right. Right. <laughs> so Dang. he had it, he <laughs> he had it far better than me in terms of lifestyle and livelihood. And, you know, I listened to the music a lot as well, but I was insulated in an environment which allowed me to be able to filter the music through and not feel as though it was speaking for me. And it kind of looks like the opposite happened to him where it kind of looks he feels as though it's speaking for him. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, it's it's unfortunate because and we've talked about this before. A lot of the people who did make it through who are kind of popping in the hip-hop industry themselves didn't even live the life that they're portraying through their music right. now maybe they, didn't, maybe they didn't live in a gated community but they themselves are building a career that is based on a fallacy right so it's kind of it's it's a little dangerous to base your own persona upon something that was originally based on a fallacy right like that's 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 good that's kind of a risky game to play mm -hmm. but 100 percent the ramifications of 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 things like mind control it reminds me of the because i used to see this I, I i'm sure you've met a lot of women like this too i've met several women in my life like this where you look at them and it's like okay you were raised your parents are good people good folks i've seen them before you drive, you know, you're 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 a college you're a college kid, and you're driving around in a Nissan Altima that's like ah, old, yeah. old, right? So you're like you're like 19, 20, 21 years old. You're driving around in a nice car that your parents can comfortably afford to buy you. You grew up in a middle class environment. You you grew up in a middle class neighborhood. Both your parents worked. Uh, you grew up in a nice house. You had your own room. You know what I'm saying? You you had a nice life as a child. Uh, and yet you seem to be attracted to the type of men who were not about that at all. So, you know, one has to wonder, where did that come from? How is it that this woman, this female, this chick who grew up well to do nice, nice parents, you know, maybe she even has a brother who's a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? And she's running around chasing guys who look like paper thugs and rappers. <laughs> That's what she's into. How does that happen? Uh, well, it happened because at some point throughout her life, there was a sort of programming that became introduced to her that influenced the way that she perceived certain things like uh, uh, attraction, attractiveness, sex appeal, and masculinity. And it created such a profound effect. It has such a profound impact on her decision making that it has manifested itself into what she now 
identifies as the ideal type of mate for her into adulthood. Uh, and I kind of feel like the same thing goes on with people such as what Irvin described with his kid, where you grew up in a gated community, but you're running around acting like Kodak. It's kind of weird. It doesn't make sense. Um, but it just goes to show you, like, at a certain point, uh, the world is going to get their clutches on your kid. And, you know, as crazy as it may seem, it kind of looks as though it's a complete roll of the dice in terms of whether the world is going to sink their clutches into your kid uh, so much so that you look at them one day and they don't even you don't even recognize them as the person that you intended to raise them as or it goes the way that you prefer and they are somebody who can just be in the world be exposed to things but not be you know ruled by them uh and it kind of looks like you know it was the latter that happened to mr tut tarantino here <laughs> <laughs> so like you i'm not gonna necessarily suggest that urban did wrong by his kid or that his kid you know i don't like getting into that either because that's personal yeah. stuff uh but he said it himself you grew up in a gated community and yet you're you know running around you know trying to portray you know an image that has been impressed upon you uh and you know it is what it is but uh hopefully he stays solid and doesn't fall too deep into it that's pretty much all i can say yeah, uh, I agree, man. One thousand, man. Uh, and I'm just saying, just growing up, because I know exactly. I mean, you've seen this look before that he's he's sporting right now. So yeah. you you've seen that look. You those guys are everywhere, you know, in South Florida. So yeah, he saw it and wanted to be it, you know. And so I and I know there's a lot of guys that look like that that fit his mold too. You know, they just want to be in the lifestyle. It, it's so much, I, for whatever reason, so much celebrity comes with it. You know, like you said, man, it can be the 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 well-to-do girls that were raised right. They want them. The girls from those communities is already on ratchet want them. They get a lot of pull, man. And and so when you see the amount of respect that those people get, you know, they just grow up idolizing it and trying to emulate, you know. And uh, but yeah, you know prisoner prisoner death man it's it's ridiculous but yeah it's replete down south so i i was disappointed because you know i followed his son you know he he went to the university of miami i knew it was just a legacy thing i'm pretty sure he wasn't gonna play like that and for sure he really didn't but uh you know but then when he transferred out and i'm like yeah whatever and then i just was hoping that he would just just play football being a good kid and oh, so to see this you know, that's not like he's not a bad kid. It's just like, you know, I mean, he's not a, you know, not a, he's not a good kid or something. It's just that, you know, you just wanted more for him. I want to, you know, you got Michael Irvin's your dad. So, you know, play it up, you know, not like this. And, but if you are going to make music, bro, just, you know, and you got a choice to make when you're trying to be an artist, just like how you said, man, like there's people that are in the industry, you know, that were, you know, pioneering this stuff that, didn't do a lick of it you know and so uh you know these these young people now you know they just grew up thinking that well this is the move that they believed it and so yeah then so we talk about this all the time man with the today's youth actually buying into the propaganda that was sold to our generation they grew up actually believing it and now they're actually dying for real mm -hmm. so these guys are actually dying for real, actually killing people actually selling drugs it wasn't that many ricos going on in our generation why? Because all those guys were stage performers. So uh, hopefully uh, this young man learns his lesson somehow, some way. He his dad damn sure put a damper on th this persona if he wants to keep this up, you know, later on down the line. And he can get into this lifestyle and get busy now if he wants to and try to double down. But we all know where you came from. So he'll never get that respect again. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Clean up your hack, young man. And I, I really want him to, man, because there's no need to be doing this. You know? Yeah, I, I feel that. And I can't speak for Michael Irvin, but I feel like if this was my son, I would just be looking at it like, you know, my son is my son is becoming a minstrel show is how I would <laughs> see it. Because the thing is, and it's and it's completely programming because yeah. who who and this is sort of tangential 
I mean, not tangential. This is sort of related to the conversation that we had a couple weeks ago about the problem with ageism in the hip hop industry. Mm -hmm. It's somewhat related because it's like, who wrote the rules that in order to be a successful rapper, you got to look like that. Like clearly like him based on urban's comments saying that he grew up, not like that grew up in a gated community. And that wasn't his, and that wasn't his life. The fact that he's trying to be that kind of, cause this to me, it doesn't have much to do with him trying to rap. If you love the music and you're trying to rap, go ahead and try to rap. It's the fact that he's trying to do it like that. Yeah, and right. the fact that he's trying the fact that he's trying to do it like that juxtaposed to Irvin's comments about how he grew up tells me that this is something that's forced. Tell it tells me that this is something that he is putting on because he believes in his mind that that is his culture, that is his the, the way of his music, that's the way to get on is to be like that. Mm-hmm. When it's like if it was really just about the music, then you can just be yourself and be the artist who you want to be. Uh, but this kind of looks like a performance and because it looks like a performance and it doesn't really read to me as authentic, I would look at it like my son is, be- my son is becoming a walking character. <laughs> like you're looking like an actual cartoon character. You looking like a minstrel show, yeah. which would be an embarrassment upon my family name. That's how yeah. I would internalize that. Yeah. Um, but be, be, be that as it may, it is what it is. Uh, he's definitely not a unique independent case. This is definitely a mentality that uh, is pretty widespread uh, throughout a lot of, you know, the current generations, I would say, particularly ones who are from, you know, marginalized groups and communities, even the ones who grow up well. Uh, It's weird to see, but it's prevalent nevertheless. So um, I just hope everything works out for them uh, because, yeah, right now, to me, it kind of looks embarrassing. Yep. Turn that music off, man. (laughs) <laughs> uh but you know shouts out to michael urban man you know it's all about the you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> for this video it is for this video 